Welcome to Paranormal Heart, a place where people can talk about their paranormal experiences. With your host, Cat Ward, along with a special segment, Oddities with John Mallard. Welcome, everyone, to Paranormal Hearts bonus episode. Today, Saturday, September 19th, is National Ghost Hunting Day. And to celebrate, I'll be speaking to founder of Canadian Paranormal Expeditions, Bradley Monks, and the managing director of the Albert County Museum, located in New Brunswick, Canada, Janet Clouston. Brad and his team are on location at the Albert County Museum. It's been a pretty full day for them. They have vendors on site, and they'll be doing a public investigation to help raise funds for the museum. I understand it's a chilly day, but everyone's bundle up and ready to do some investigating. So let's get to it. I introduce to you Bradley Monks and Janet Clouston. Hey Janet, welcome to Paranormal Heart. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for having us on your show. I'm uh, really excited to be meeting you over uh, technology here. I know. I uh, really would, because New Brunswick is my home province. I'm from the Dieppe area. Uh, if, for those who are familiar with New Brunswick, that's just outside of Moncton. And uh, when Brad told me about uh, this investigation, I thought, oh my, I really wish I could be there. And then he suggested the interview and I thought, well, it's just as well. It's not quite like being there, but it's not, it'll have to do for now. <laughs> We'd love to have you visit the Albert County Museum the next time you're uh, you're home in New Brunswick. So please feel free to come visit us. Oh, for sure, I will. I was planning on going uh, this year. Um, I, I should have been there by now, but uh, with all the COVID thing, I thought, well, I'm going to wait and hopefully next year. So I will touch base with you when uh, with you and Brad when I go home, and hopefully it'll be next year. That would be great, Kat. Well, we'd yeah. love to have you here. And, Thank uh, you. Uh, we're excited about working with Canadian Paranormal. This is their second visit here, and this is the first time they've opened to the public for World Ghost Hunting Day. And we've had, I don't know, there's probably about 15 or 20 of us here right now, um, uh, leading you know up to the to the d dusk and uh, evening ghost hunting. So we're we're all pretty excited about being here. Well, that's a pretty good turnout, especially with because uh, Brad was telling me uh, a lot of the vendors weren't weren't able to show up because of COVID. So that's uh, that's a pretty good turnout. Well, it was great this afternoon. I was able to have my tarot cards read for the first time since I've been back in New Brunswick. I nice. lived out in BC for many years, and I'm home. I've, I'm home now and um, living in in Hopewell Cape, right here on the Bay of Fundy. Yep. And had my cards read, and um, the tarot card read uh, card person said I'm working too hard, so I guess <laughs> I need to take a break. We close the museum for the season September 30th, and I'll have a little bit of a break then. Um, but it's been an interesting year to be in business, and we managed to open even though we have COVID. We're a six-acre site with eight buildings and 24 exhibits, so plenty of room to roam, and we've done self-guided tours only this summer, and we've had a pretty decent year, so I'm, I'm very grateful. I'm glad you're still, uh, you were able to still uh, remain open for um, for the public. That's great because there's so many places that had to close permanent. Well, not permanently. Well, yeah, some of them had to close permanently as well. But um, yeah, I'm very familiar with Hopewell Cape. Uh, haven't been to the rocks in, since I'm a little girl. But um, yeah, it's really, really good that you're able to still have people go to visit this great museum. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the museum, a little bit more? Yeah, sure. So um, we're uh, we're um, originally called a Shire Town, and when Albert County became a county in 1845, they needed a town capital. So very much like uh, Dieppe has a city hall, and mm -hmm. uh, this was this was chosen as the site of the Shire Town, um, and was established in 1845. So all the buildings that are here are original to that time. So we've got 175 year old buildings that we're looking after. Uh, I work for a nonprofit society that was formed in 1957 to start looking after these buildings as it was not, you know, be, being come, becoming decommissioned as a, a community um, hub, as it were. And the province was taking on more and more responsibilities. So they decommissioned our courthouse, 
our uh, jail that's here, again, all original to 1845, the records tax office. So all the buildings are um, being looked at after bias now and open to the public as a museum site. So it's really the history of New Brunswick, um, the shipbuilding history, which the Bay of Funday area is very famous for, and mm -hmm. uh, sailing ships. There were over 300 vessels built here right in this county. Uh, people think of Nova Scotia when they think shipbuilding, but in fact, it was New Brunswick. And um, at Confederation uh, in 1867, we were one of the richest communities in the nation uh, due to industry. And so the story of that is told here from mining and lumbering, fishing, farming, um, you know, pretty much everything we tried our hand at here in Albert County, uh, we are very... Oh, I just lost you. Uh, Skype has gone down. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, are you back? Oh, wait, I lost you for a second. <laughs> Skype. Okay. <laughs> Just talked about Jacques Cartier, who yep. sailed, so we all learned about Jacques Cartier in school. Yes. We actually, he sailed in and named this Shepherdy Bay. Um, and so we, our, our uh, 24 exhibits that we have now include the Acadian st history. It, this was an Acadian village for, Acadian settlement for over 100 years which people don't realize, it, it, uh, that's where Albert County got its start, uh, European settlers that were here. And we also tell the story of R.B. Bennett. Uh, mm -hmm. Bennett was the 11th Prime Minister of Canada, uh, the only pi Prime Minister born in New Brunswick. Uh, and he led during the Great Depression, uh, which was, uh, you know, a really um, influential time on many people's lives in Canada. And he led admirably, and R.B. Bennett established a lot of the policies um, that keep Canadians protected today, employment insurance, minimum wage legislation. Um, he formed the CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. So anytime you listen to CBC or Radio Canada, um, you can thank R.B. Bennett, because hmm. that was created by him. So ca Canadians could communicate with each other. So we have a lot to share here. I'm really grateful for any uh, people who come to the museum. A lot of people are coming with their kids this summer um, because they're trying to keep their kids mentally stimulated and, and te teach them about history. And there's, we're a very family friendly facility here. Um, a lot of interactive exhibits, people can touch things. You know, if we don't want you to touch it, it's behind glass. So we're able to welcome families here and we've got six acres for them to explore. We have another four acres of woodland that we're looking at doing some natural history exhibits with. So we're kind of living history here. Um, you know, it's an old site, but we're looking at new, new modern technologies, using technology a lot. We do a lot with Facebook. We do a photo a day of historic photos that are celebrating Albert County 175. So we've been here um, 175 years. We're older than Canada here. And so we've been using um, Facebook quite a lot to share history. We've got a great website with a lot of details. We are also an archive. So we've got family history documents, ownership documents. So people come looking for their ancestors and uh, they're likely to find them here. Oh, that's great. I get Can yeah, Can so you, I get to do this for a living, so. <laughs> oh, I envy you. I've always wanted to work for a museum. It's just so fascinating. Um, can you tell us what uh, the Facebook, how they can find you on Facebook and what the website would be? Yeah, so the, the web address is albertcountymuseum.com. Mm -hmm. And there's great information about our, our exhibits, our artifacts. There's also a really good search function on there. So you can search RB, put the name RB Bennett in, and anything to do with him comes up. Um, you know, there's there's really robust information there. So albertcountymuseum.com. And our Facebook page is Facebook slash Albert County Museum. Okay, pretty straightforward. I'll also add it to the show notes so people can just click on it and they don't have to go looking for it. It'll be easy for everyone. Great. I have no, to thank know. You. I appreciate oh. you doing that. Oh, you're very welcome. I have to know, have you had any uh, strange encounters at the museum that you would consider would be oh. ghosts here? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, you know, my, my staff and I all talk about it. Um, uh, you know, there's been, not before my time, but there were employees who actually quit because they couldn't stand the uh, things that go bump in the night here. Oh, wow. So, um, well, we've got a, a, an old courthouse that mm -hmm. had a lot of, 
um, you know, important, important pressing matters, lawsuits and claims and family claims, and uh, there's energy there. Um, we have a World War I exhibit, and there's quite a, quite a lot of energy that comes off of those artifacts. We've got uh, old German cannons here that were captured at Vimy Ridge, so there's some stuff around there. A little girl died here, and so quite a few people feel the presence of that little girl. But it's really the jail. The the, the creepy old jail is called the creepy old jail for a reason. <laughs> there's, there's lots of energy there. Um, a man was hung to death here because of he, he killed somebody. He was convicted of killing somebody. Um, so it's, it's a Tom Collins murder mystery, murder trial, and there are quite a few people that come for that exhibit. So he was uh, accused of, of axe murder. He killed a lady called Marianne McCauley, and he was tried in our courthouse three times. They finally found him guilty on the third try. He was hung right here at the museum, buried here for 50 years. A lot of energy around that Collins story, but... You know, I guess you know was a, there was a debtor's cell here. If people couldn't pay their taxes in the day, it was a very British system of punishment. If you couldn't pay pay your taxes, you went to jail, and that caused a lot of family grief and family trauma. So, um, you know, somebody was here the other day because of people knowing we're doing a paranormal event, and there's you know ghost hunters coming. It's been attracting people for the last few weeks. Um, somebody came with a, a dowering rod and f found an oh. old grave here that really? we didn't even. Yeah, we didn't even know it was here, and he counted at least five, hmm. five gra grave markers here, and said that's where they are, and that's where I'm sitting right now. Is kind of on top of where he said these graves are. So, yeah, there's energy here. I mean, I've I I just keep reminding energy spirits, ghosts when, when I feel them mm -hmm. that I'm a good that I'm a good person, and I'm here to tell their story. Yep. I I see that I hear them. I can I I hear them. I see them. I feel them. And I'm a good person, and I'm just here to tell their story. And they calm down. Um, when I first started here, April a year ago, first couple of months, it was a lot of frantic energy coming at me. Um, I felt a grabbing, somebody grabbing my left shoulder one night, you know, locking up at night, and it's raining, and I'm here by myself. And you know, I've run a couple of times. And I'm, <laughs> I'm a woman. I'm not. I'm not a young thing, and I just like lock up and run. So now I've. Run I now I, I have a golden retriever named Tango, so he's my museum dog now. Nice. And he comes with me, he comes with me when I lock up. So um, yeah, he's he's uh, he's afraid of the jail too. By the way, he like he doesn't want to be in that building. And then like when we lock up, he's out of there. So yeah, I felt it. Um, you know, the very various times at the courthouse. Um, there's other areas I don't feel as much, and certainly on the ground sometimes I can feel energy. But you know, we're an old site and. We're we're an Acadian site uh, or a First Nations uh, area as well, mm -hmm. like most of Canada. So there's the, there's that energy, and we're we're doing a First Nations exhibit as well coming nice. up in the next year or two. So um, yeah, again, I just I just keep repeating the same thing. I'm a good person. I'm here to tell their story, and that seems to that seems to calm them down. So, but I know they've already found some stuff here today, and um, I think the crowd that's here right now is getting pretty excited to go and see the techniques around finding ghosts. So. Quite I'm really fun. envious. <laughs> yeah, I well, find... Join us, join us next time. I'm hoping to make this an annual event. So, oh, that'll be nice, um, yeah. If Bradley and his team from Canadian Paranormal Expeditions want to come back and join us uh, to do this again in 2021, we'd be happy to do that. Awesome, and hopefully the COVID thing will be uh, died down by then and I'll be able to go home for a visit and, and check the place out. Well, I wish that as well. But we'll, we'll see. Yeah. We just... So, Get up Go ahead. every morning and see what happens next, right? Yeah, exactly. Just take it a day at a time. So the yes. buildings that are there now, is that the original location for those buildings? Yeah, they're all original buildings to their original site. So okay. un unlike King's Landing, that's yeah. near and dear to my heart, um, that was a manufactured village. Um, mm -hmm. It was created by the Hatfield government when they were flooding the... the a St. John River Valley to put the Mactaquac Dam in and so mm -hmm. they bought a piece of land and and moved buildings that they thought were appropriate. In fact that project was led by Dr. George Macbeth. Uh, Dr. George Macbeth is my uncle. Oh really? That's yeah, interesting. So I knew a lot about, yeah I knew a lot about history in New Brunswick from my uncle George and my aunt Marie Macbeth who started uh, Science East um, out of an old jail in Fredericton. So oh, he, yes. my uncle, my uncle developed there the um, King's Landing and Village Acadienne. Oh, 
Mm -hmm. uh, he did both of those projects because they said, well, you can't do a you can't do a historic village like King's Landing and not do a an Acadian French version. Yeah. So he, he did that project next. Those were really his legacy projects. And in fact, Kat, I found out when I started working here a year ago, April. Um, it was my uncle who was here at the ribbon cutting in 1962, representing the province of New Brunswick. Oh, I wow. found that out in a newspaper article I found on my desk. That's uh, when pretty I started neat. working here. So you can imagine my shock. Thank God I was sitting down when I picked up that <laughs> newspaper article to see that in 1962, before I was even conceived, yeah. that it was my uncle who was here at the ribbon cutting, and uh, here I am carrying on with his legacy. So, um, yeah, so. That's amazing. They were just the ghost. Um, um, Bradley just let me know that the, they were just at the village Histoire Acadienne uh, doing, a, doing a ghost hunt. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, my, uh, my uncle's um, gift of history keep giving. So That's amazing. Yeah, yeah the, uh... that, you know, it's great. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm blessed to be here and blessed to be home and blessed to be part of this ghost hunting event that's happening tonight. And because of this event, someone's just booked a Halloween party here where they want nice. to get into the table and the, uh, and the courthouse and the exhibition hall as well with a group of people. Oh, that's so, really good. Yeah, it is fun. So I think, Lots thank of you publicity. for your interest. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, I just lost my train of thought. I was going to ask you something and I forgot. <laughs> um, I guess you can ask Bradley instead. Did, did you want to, inter want to interview him right now? Or? Sure, I could do that. Do you have anything else that you'd like to share with us first? Uh, no, I'm just uh, really grateful that uh, we're able to open this year and welcome the families we have. We're, everything's safety, social distancing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, New Brunswick's just done wonderfully through this as well. You know, we have one of the best records in Canada, and, and it's due to our strength and resiliency as a, as a province, and uh, we just really care a lot about each other. So um, hopefully when you have a chance to come back to our beautiful um, uh, Nouveau-Brunswick, you'll be able to visit me I, here yeah, at the Albuquerque Museum. That is definitely on my list when I go home. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you for your interest in what we're doing here. Thank you. You take care. All right. You too. Thank you. Here, Bradley. Now we're waiting for Bradley. I'm right here. Hello, yeah. Brad. Yeah. How's it going? I heard, oh, wow. She was so informative. I really can't wait to go home and go see the, uh, the uh, museum and to meet her. And yeah, it's, it makes me homesick now. <laughs> You have seen what I did to you? <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> You're welcome. So tell us about uh, your paranormal, you are a paranormal investigator. Tell us about your team and then what you guys plan on doing here tonight. Um, okay, I'm the lead and founder of Canadian Paranormal and I'm also the lead and founder of Sam Paranormal out in Saskatchewan. I have two teams. Uh, there's one out there and one here. Um, I'm here with this one and uh, we're at a uh, Albert County Museum tonight for World Ghost Hunt Day. This is our fifth year anniversary with them, with that organization run by M Maria Smits from Florida. Uh, she runs a haunted inn down there. Uh, so yeah, I got involved with that and uh, they made us, uh, made myself an ambassador for Canada uh, hmm. for World Ghost Hunt Day. And also we, uh, just this past year, I won Paranormal Investigator Award of the Year for that. from Nice. Our so, Congratulations. Uh, it's, it's been a, quite an interesting year so far. And uh, this year here we chose uh, Albert County Museum to try to do a little fundraiser and World Ghost Hunt Day here. And one of the things we like to do is show our heritage and stuff that we have in our province. And I chose Albert County because when we came up here, I was really impressed with the people and the buildings and how things were up here. And uh, it's kind of a little hidden gem out of the way. And I don't think it gets much attention like it should. And it should get a little bit, a lot more attention. And if we can do that through this type of thing that we do, um, maybe it'd be a good thing. And this is why we did a public investigation tonight with the, you know, with all the COVID uh, uh, placements in place and with the mask and social distancing yeah. and all this. So it's that kind of put a damper on things that type of way. But I mean, we still got a pretty good turnout here tonight. It's cold, but every bundle's bundled up and we're ready to go. That's awesome. Yeah, when Janet mentioned that uh, they already had someone book a Halloween party for there, I thought that's amazing. So if there's anything I can do to help to get more word out about the museum, just let me know. Yeah, I uh, sure will. Sure will. 
Well, like I say, this is what we're trying to do. It's it's kind of cool to do the paranormal thing. And the last time we were here, we we did catch some stuff here. So we're going to see if we can catch it again, and maybe a little bit more, and uh, and give the public a chance to to get a taste of it. Like we're we're not going to use me and my team. We're not going to use the equipment tonight. The public's going to use it. Uh-huh. And, uh but they, see what they can catch with it and give them experience of what it's like to do this type of thing and uh you know it's it's, it's a little unique thing uh, not everybody agrees with it and what we do but that's okay everybody has their point of view and opinion yep. stuff about it yeah here in the ottawa valley there's a museum in uh, pembroke uh champlain trail museum and there is a team here called chaps uh, they do a whole bunch of uh, areas here in Ontario for investigating. And um, uh, quite a few years ago, they had a, it was their first time, it was a public uh, paranormal investigate, investigation at the museum. And they were trying to raise money, you know, fundraising for the, for, the, uh, for the museum. And they didn't realize how many people were going to show up. 98 people showed up. They were blown away. They They didn't expect that many people. So they had to put us in four teams because there was just so many people and that's what they did they they showed how they explained the equipment first we all met in the in the church there the old church and they um, explained the equipment and everything and that's what they let the public use everybody had a turn with everything and it was a lot of fun and it was uh, quite popular wow yeah we we done tours around oh, saskatchewan and stuff where you know we had groups there between 120 people show up in one night there on one we did wow. and uh you know and but uh i'm down here now and so i'm trying to highlight a little bit more of the east coast and hopefully mm-hmm. next year get into nova scotia and the pei and start getting some stuff down there i got my eye on a couple of places and uh, hopefully we'll get in there and do some stuff there that's nice if ever you find yourself in the ottawa valley uh let me know and uh, maybe we can get together with the team that i'm with so tell us a little bit what you guys plan on doing tonight. Uh, like I said, we're just going to take the public out tonight. They're going to use mm-hmm. the equipment, to, and we're going to do the courthouse and the basement of the courthouse, and mm-hmm. uh, we're going up to the building and up to the jail, and there's a living quarters above the jail. We've got that to do tonight, as well as the, the main hall where they used to hold receptions and music and dances years ago. So all those original buildings, so we're going to hit those tonight and and see what we get out of it. Oh, that's amazing. I know when we spoke earlier, you're, you said you're already starting to have uh, issues with some of the equipment, like with the cameras and everything. So it uh, sounds okay. like it's going to be a very active night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it will. It's planned and probably will be because we, uh, we turn around and... Uh, excuse me just for a second. <laughs> so as my friend's phone. So anyway, yeah, um, like I said, it's we're hoping to. And... Uh, it, to me, it's, it's to get the uh, importance of this place out and stuff like that and highlight the museum. It's, uh, and you know, some teams, they, they make it about us and, and some turn around and I don't know. I, I, to me, it's it's cool and do the ghost hunt and the paranormal and, and study it and, and learn about it and things. But I, I just, I love these historic locations and to me, that's what's important. I do too, yeah. Uh, I've investigated a few places but my favorite is historical locations i I just love it um do you have anyone on your team that's going to be asking questions in french as well since uh there's a lot of french in the area well um sure we probably can push her through south through (laughs) some mostly english speaking but uh uh, shelly's here so she's she's got quite a bit Ah, of french she came yep she came down all the way from bathrooms yeah um, he was at acadian village with us and uh you know she had a she had a great time and uh you know she's here she made all her way down here with us so you know i appreciate her coming down and helping us out but she is french and uh she was a big asset and a big help for us at acadian village so i mean oh, good that's a speaking community so yeah uh, we're speaking but you know uh, when we did the review of that place uh on the videos and audios i got english back answering so it's yeah uh, you know, maybe they do speak a little bit of english back in that day I, I would think they would have to so yeah it seems to be mixed reviews when you ask people if uh they think um using different languages to ask questions if you're going to be getting more responses and it just seems to be some people are 
are adamant, yes, you're going to have better uh, evidence. You're going to get more, uh, 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 sorry, entities contacting you. And others people say, no, they, the entities beyond understand no matter what language you speak. So I'm just curious. Well, some this is it. I mean, who's to say in the spirit world is not a universal language? Who's to say exactly. that, you know, they don't understand every language and, you know, maybe there is one language. I don't know. We don't know. No, and we don't. that's one of the things that, you know, we're trying to work on to figure out uh, along with the other stuff. So, you know, the more I do this, the more I learn about it. And I, I'm always up for learning. Yep. Uh, I'll be the first to admit I don't know it all, and but uh, you know I got some good friends like Patty Negri and uh, Michelle De Roche and Jack Kenna. And, oh, Michelle's and amazing, everybody. yeah. Uh, so I learned a lot from them, and I'm always learning, and from other teams from the U.S. and stuff <laughs> that I I talk to and work with, and you know we that's what this ghost hunt thing is a day. It's it's for it's 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 a learn. It's a collective consciousness. It's pure unity. It's everything so agreed and, uh, about it. yeah i firmly believe that if we don't come together and share our knowledge and uh research with one another that we're not really going to find out uh what what's beyond life you know what's what's going on with the paranormal yeah exactly exactly right have to work together okay well where uh, where can we uh where can the listeners find you uh, you can find us on Facebook. We're under Canadian Paranormal Expeditions. We have a Facebook group page there. We're also on Instagram under the same thing and Twitter. And uh, we also can find us on YouTube. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, you can. Uh, there's a few videos there now, but we'll be posting more here in the near future. And uh, I, like I said, I, we just got done three weeks ago with Canadian Village, so I'm hoping to uh, uh, take and get that up. And once I get the editing done, then I'll mm -hmm. have that posted to YouTube. And I think people will be quite at all and impressed of what we caught out of there. And it's uh, we uh, I have did post a couple little short clips on there that I caught. But uh, we caught an apparition, a full body apparition up there. Oh, we wow. caught a, a lot of stuff. So uh, it's pretty cool. I, I couldn't believe it. I walked right past it. I walked right past the apparition. <laughs> it's only been, uh, my camera person never even seen it. And there it was. It was hmm. everybody walked right through the doorway in the other room. Nice. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And oh, it's on our page right now. It's on Facebook. So okay, I'll go take a look. Yes, I'll also add in the show notes, like I told Janet, um, I'll add in the show notes uh, all the links so people can find you easy. They can just go in, click on, and so that way they don't have to do too much Googling to, to find you. Yeah, uh, well, I'm hoping soon to have a web page done up. Uh, we're working on that right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, our email is going to be Canadian Para X, and uh, that's under at hotmail.com, mm -hmm. or sorry, g.com. And mm -hmm. uh, that will be there. And uh, like I said, if people can get a contact us anytime, they can mess up any time of day or night. Perfect. Can you spell the uh, email? It's para X. It's Canadian. Mm -hmm. Para P A R A X E X P. Okay. Yep. At gmail.com. Perfect. Well, I'll let you go. Good luck tonight. Okay, yeah. I really yeah. can't. Get the I... here. Yeah. Going. Get the party going. <laughs> yeah. <that's it. laughs> Thank you so much, Brad. I appreciate this, and uh, have fun. Be safe tonight. No, we will. I'll probably shoot some lives in tonight. So okay, okay. Take okay, care. Yeah, we'll talk to you later. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye, dear. Well, we've made it to the end of another episode. Thanks so much for listening. Until next time, take care of each other. And if you'd like to be on the show or have questions and comments, just drop me an email, paranormalheart13 at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. Paranormal Heart would like to extend a special thank you to purpleplanet.com for supplying the music for the show. The views and opinions expressed on Paranormal Heart are those of the host and participants. <laughs>